Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom board backgrounds for Trello using Canva. Here's how. So if you've ever gone to your Trello board and you wish you could style it and make it look kind of nice and have some sort of good, you know, custom background, you are in luck. So if you click these three dots, you can click change background and you can select from different like photos or colors or different sort of things like that. But if you want to make your own custom one, you can upload any sort of file. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, check out these docs on um, Atlassian about changing the board backgrounds. They don't really give you a specific size that they recommend, but they recommend a high quality image that's been taken in landscape mode, wider than it is tall. Um, Google told me like a good like 16 by nine resolution and I looked up what that means and that effectively is like a good like 38, 40 by 21, 60 pixels. So we're gonna now head to Canva and make something like that. So once you've logged into Canva and you can use Canva for free, there are premium plans that let you do some more advanced stuff, but you can totally use the free version. Click create a design. We're gonna say custom size. And then that's where we're gonna look at, what did we have? Three, 3840 by 2160. We're gonna hit create new design. And then here we can, we'll call it file, we'll call it, uh, Trello board background. We'll hit enter. Perfect. And then what we will do is we will design our board. So remember, you want to keep in mind there's going to be cards and lists on it. So I like to, to keep more of my design at the bottom because the top is kind of always going to be a little bit busy, but we can pick um, some different sort of things here. So let's just see if there's any templates that look interesting to us. Maybe this one looks kind of cool. I want to do that. Um, have a little robot on there because that's pretty cool. Maybe I want to get rid of some text here. And then I can add other sort of elements. So let's say I want to add a Trello logo. I could add that down here. I could search for anything else. Like for instance, if I wanted more robot-y things, I could add another robot on here. If I wanted to add custom text, um, I could go to text and I could hit title. I could add something over here. Like maybe this is where I want to put Brittany's board whatever I want to do on here. And I'm not a big graphic designer, so I'm I'm going to let you and your creative juices do what they want to do over here. But effectively, once you've kind of got something that looks interesting to you, you go over here and hit share and you'll click download and you save it to PNG, hit download, and then it's going to take a minute. Doo, 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 doo. And then once it's downloaded, you'll come back over here to your Trello board. You'll click this plus button and then you'll go to your downloads and you'll see that board background file and you'll add it in. And you can see it's uploading, it's gonna take it a second and then it's gonna put it in as your board background. So just wait for it. Boom, here it is. And so now you can see my custom board background is there. I can click over it and get some options and I can make it like tile, which would format it a little bit differently. It just kind of depends on how you want it to look um, and the the, options that you put in there and you can choose if the board text is light or dark. So for instance, it'll automatically choose. So like if this is dark, then the text will be light or if it's light, then it'll make the text dark, but you can always change it. But it's usually pretty good at making an assumption. And that is how you would make your own Trello board background, your own custom Trello board background um, inside of Canva. If you have any questions, comment on here and let me know. Um, if you found this helpful, please like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And every week uh, I also post new content on my Trello newsletter. So there's a link to that in the description. I'd love for you to sign up and um, I'd love to show you more stuff about Trello.